Okay, this is the layout of the framing for the new stairway. We have one 4x4 post goes here, and another 4x4 post goes there. This one is specified to get a 12x12x8 12 by 12 by inch footing. This is to get a 18x18x12 by 18 by inch footing. And this is an existing 6x6 that gets a 3 foot square by 12 inch deep footing built under it. So we'll have to do some temporary support framing under this end of the beam. And then that end of the beam is already supported by the existing wall. Then we have some changes in the plan that are the layout of the four beams is different than what was thought to be. So we'll come back here and you can see there's a 4x10 beam there and a 4x10 beam here and a 4x10 beam over there and then this is our new wall that goes under the existing wall above and so what we are trying to figure out is right here is where one of the point loads should be and so what we're thinking of doing is cutting here and putting a 4x10 across the center beam and over to the wall on the other side which would be roughly up here above that doorway so that would be on top of a 2x4 wall here and it is a wall that is offset so it's deeper here than it is there by about two inches so a new beam lines up about two inches over here so we'll open up the wall here and put in a post down and then the existing beam which I believe is a 6x10 we can let's see this is where the wall lines up there are two studs here and another stud there so given the size of the beam up above I don't think that we need to put any posting in there and then instead of posting across from here over to the beam on the other side of that ducting we would post from or put a new beam where this new beam goes across to the other wall and then come with a beam here that would go over to the next 4x10 on the other side of that heat duct kind of hard to see but there it is then this here beam at 4x10 will hang her into the new beam coming across but technically I don't see a need for the footing here or the footing there but I do see a need for a footing here which is where all the point load is going to be and same with this side over here so we will discuss that with the architect and get a um, answer on it but this here is where the new stairs are going to come in that's the line of the new stairway comes down to a landing and then turns and comes down to about where the 2x4 on the floor is
and uh, I suppose that that window removing that window is actually might even be optional at this point because it's not uh, in the way of anything however we might need to uh, replace the glass with tempered glass so we can talk about that with the homeowners when they get back now let's go take a look at the upstairs These are the stairs that are going to be removed. So these are the beams of above. So this 4x10 is going to be cut and we'll have a 4x10 that comes across there and over to about where my foot here is where the other 4x10 beam is, and then we'll have the header coming across from the doubled up 2x10s there, and coming across over to about here. Then we put a 4x10 up above the wall here and then a post down from the post holding up the roof ridge, the peak of the roof. And so that will be the new support. Now let's see if I can get a better look at that. Okay. So that is what we're working on right now. The other thing we have to contend with is there's a break in the beam at the top there, which is not quite center of the span. So we'll discuss if the new doubled up one on either side laminated veneer lumber beams will work or if we need to uh, do some kind of a metal bracketing up there to join the two. Okay, so that is where we are at now.